Yo, what's good everybody? I'm Shadow Revenous and this is The Irony of Gaming. And here is another episode of Counterside Case Studies. Um, not sure if you know which unit I'm going to use next, so I'll give you about two seconds. And yep, you guessed it. Lin Zen. Now, Lin Zen, personally for me, is I uh, she's a phenomenal unit I like using this unit um, she fits very well into many comps uh, she synergizes with many other units that's pretty good um, what she normally does is that she gives a really good amount of a really good amount of costs and um, let's go and find her right now she gives a really good amount of cost management, which is really good. Um, just summoning her, you know, gives you costs. Her ultimate gives you costs, and she fits very well with PVE teams and PVP teams. So to start off, we're gonna go with her stats. <clears throat> now, her stats as a level 100, when she's maxed out as a you know level 100. Uh, we, she will have the HP of 54,555 HP and she would have an attack of 3,695 with a defense of 270, a crit of 4, 4, uh, 412 and a hit rate of 30, uh, 333. Her evasion is 370. Now she does get a nice percentage there. Um, if you, uh, I guess I would say, yeah, she, she gets a nice low percentage there for 21% of that, uh, 20% for the crit, 18% for the hit, and 31% for the evasion. Now, what does her profile say? So her profile is uh, Lin Zen, gender female, birthday July 1st, height 154 centimeters, um, specialty is spending money. <laughs> Uh, the likes, her likes, uh, what does she like? She likes film noirs. Her dislikes are bell peppers. Combat skill is caution. And the, her, com, uh, her command uh, competency uh, is proficient. Hmm. Her competency is proficient, nice. Now her CRF assessment, her maximum output would be C. Her corruption resistance is pretty good. Her Eternium Dependency is average, her Physical Enhancement is none, and her Control Level is none. Now, the skill. Now, her skill kit is pretty good. Here, uh, she fires two shotguns. So, she fires a shotgun, knocking enemies backwards with the AoE damage. This could definitely come in handy, especially if you're playing in PvP and pushing some enemies back with which they don't have a resistance to knock back. Um, one of the interesting things, one of the most useful things that she has is her passive skills. And her passive skills is that. Uh, she's awakened to a mysterious power upon becoming a counter instantly restores one deployment cost upon deployment that's and now you would think that that might not be as helpful but getting this to level five will give you another plus one which definitely helps you out because especially when you're in PvP even in, even in PvE this is also a very crucial thing you definitely want to make sure that you're upkeeping your cost when deploying powerful units let's say if you want to put out, out like a lot of awakened units that's out there that's something that could definitely you know add some benefit to this <clears throat> this will help you this will allow you to summon more units on the field simultaneously you know because just for having her on the field now her special skill is that she wildly fires the two shotguns and she knocks the enemy back with AOE damage. Now leveling this up to max will give you a negative four seconds to the cooldown, which is also not a bad thing. This is good, you know. Again, enemies who can't have, uh, who can't resist the knockback will get pushed back with this. Which will this will help keep her alive and help your teams out a bit and you know buy you more time so you can have her live long enough to get off her ultimate which is the I have a lot of money ultimate <laughs> and if you max this one out her deployment cost recovery will give you a plus one 
and it'll be a cooldown of eight seconds <coughs> now what this does is that she flaunts her enormous wealth to affect the battle situation and instantly restores three deployment resources now with the plus one that's four uh, resource deployments for the cost which is amazing because that allows you to properly manage specific units and properly manage specific units that have high um, deployment costs such as you know units like maestro or units like just awakened units that have the six cost five cost seven cost this is definitely a very useful skill to have and it can help you win a lot it can help you it can help get you out of a lot of situations both in pve and in pvp now let's take a look at the gear set now personally for me what the gear sets that well the gear sets that you mainly will probably want to use is the skill haste uh type set this will definitely help out because you definitely want to get her closer to her ultimate as fast as possible and it's not and also to her special skills it could be a good thing but the main thing that you really want is gear sets that could give that could help keep her alive and also that can help her launch her skill haste her ultimate skill as fast as possible now what normally what I normally would do is I personally use let's see I personally use this one right here for, um, well, don't pay attention to the fast attack thing. I was doing some experimentation with something else on here, but I completely replaced it. But um, this is something that I normally use on her. Uh, I recently had put this type of gear set on her where she has a latent, attack, a latent ability of crit damage resistance of the 20%, which this can definitely get go a lot higher. But um, have a she can also have an anti counter damage resistance because once you're going up against mostly PvP or so, if you're going up against PvP units, you're mostly going to go up against counters most of the times. And she can definitely have resistance to this. Also, too, with the anti ground damage resistance, this is also good for you know all units who who are usually on the usually on the uh, ground who you know do damage or whatever she could just resist that perfectly and you want to have the skill haste which will definitely get her to her ultimate faster now what i've done too is that if you are lucky enough there is a she has a skill haste here which is for the elaine ability along with this and another set of skill haste and another set of skill haste here this will help her this will definitely help out a lot you probably you mostly will see a different a nice little difference from this and also too because she has such a resistance again this will help her keep her alive long enough so that she can you know deal some more damage and stuff but anything that has any type of defense wise you can you can use any other type of gear if you want you just gotta just make sure that you know there's a nice defense a nice set of defense stats which can help her out now <clears throat> now using inhibitor gear inhibitor gear is pretty good you can you can definitely use this for both pve and pvp um the maze the maze gear set is pretty good as well you can you can use this for pve um pvp you can you can definitely use this too because you know there's a nice set of resistances that's here um, the damage, the damage-wise, she 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 could do some damage, especially especially some good damage to uh, rangers. But the main goal of using this unit, at least from from the experience that I have by using this unit, the main thing is that you want to have her stay on the field to maintain your deployment cost because that's important. Just in case if you did lose a powerful awaken or you use or you lose any of the other units you can definitely use <clears throat> Linzen's ultimate attack to maintain that cost and then you could just easily replace those you could just easily redeploy those units if they fall in in battle which can keep which will give you a nice steady upkeep of your deployment cost um now in terms of the ships what type what type of ships would go well with Linzen? well the ships here would be 
she she could do pretty well with just about almost any ship like the enterprise and you know um the ahab but but the, the main thing though which would really help her out is that you want to make sure that she survives on the battlefield so you can use the blue bridge here the blue bridge is a good is a good thing to use where you know this could also increase the skill haste here and also too what you can use is the last skill here the advanced gunfire wave which then helps you out to you know give more give more of a defense wise thing or just a nice distraction to you know to help keep lens alive and the enemy will just be preoccupied in killing those other units there and you can use the ahab too <coughs> in terms of like you know you can put people's skill uh skill cooldown down uh skill cooldown you can add that towards the enemy which then prevents them from using their skill which takes them longer to use their skills and then this could give this could buy linzen some time you could also use the advanced cold snap which will uh knock back specific enemies who can't have you know who can't resist the knockback which is good and that'll buy her a little bit more time the lake superior is another good one here where you can use the you know the barriers and stuff and you can even use the advanced cross impact which could cause a nice little distraction here and there you know in moving enemies here um the kamazumi is another good one here where sometimes enemies do get knocked back when it comes down to this and also with the um with the turbulence the advanced turbulence can do something so they can work wonders with that too by slowing down the enemy which then prevents them from killing her faster or whatnot um the gleifner is uh, another pretty good one because uh, you can use the advanced flames and this can uh knock um uh, knock en some enemies off their feet when being hit and this could also buy her some time <clears throat> The New Ohio is another is, is another pretty good one in which you can you know um, you can block out the special attacks temporarily and you can knock enemies back with the overdrive, which is also a pretty good thing. And allies get a 50% evasion, which is pretty good. And this will again help her survival. You could use something like this too, and you know increasing her damage. Also, with the advanced impact, you can also use this to knock enemies back or up in the air a little bit, which will then buy her just a, you know, a little bit of time, just so she can get off the ultimate attack. The Albion is another one that you could use in terms of you know setting the, setting this up to make her invisible. Um, some I think that sometimes this ship uh, with the cannon pierce. The Caliburn Pierce, it can definitely, I think, I think it can knock the enemy back, which is another good thing. Anything with any type of knockback can help out. The Chorus, which can definitely help you out with, you know, increasing the evasion a bit, which is pretty good. <clears throat> you can use the Tempest. Tempest is another good one here where you can use the shield here and you can even summon the, and uh, you know, the allies, extra allies and stuff to help buy some time and levitating them, which is also good. But definitely when using Lin Zen, you definitely want to use, you definitely want to use, um, you know, anything by, by any means to, to distract the enemy from paying, from paying attention to Lin Zen and trying to get her off from the field. You definitely want to keep her alive so she can get off the ultimate attack and therefore help out your team and and cause you to, you know, summon your powerful awakens that you have waiting to deploy both in PvE and in PvP. Now the operators. The operators I would say which could be a pretty good match for her would be Rachel, Rachel Dodds. She has a, you know, she grants uh, friendly defenders and strikers with the melee uh, melee damage and the damage taken reduction. Now, the damage taken reduction is what you want to aim for. And if you can get something down here with, like, you know, range damage taken, that could be also be a good thing, too. 
uh, Sysop. Sysop is also pretty good too with the cost. However, you may need some more levels with him, like some extra levels for him, so you so can increase this more. And this can give you even more deployment cost. Uh, deployment cost management. <clears throat> Now, I would say now she can potentially, uh, replace a Rook can potentially be a good unit as well. However, you would probably need a lot of, you probably would need some more levels on her only because, you know, the five second cost is such a very small window to use. But yeah, the, she, she, has, she definitely has a potential to yeah, provide some pretty good defense for Lin Zen and keeping her alive. Um... Oh, it's not the unit. Uh, now, I mean, if you wanted to do like specific defenses or grant stun immunity, this can this has some potential too in helping Lin Zen out, especially if you have like a decreased range damage right here. This could help keep her alive a little bit longer. I would say to that. Uh, no, this is not it. Ah yes, Olivia. Olivia would be a phenomenal unit to you, a uh, phenomenal operator to use for Lin Zen and keeping her alive, especially from those pesky AOE damage that most of the most of the units in the game now are starting to do. And I would say that the Mansion Master is also a pretty good one because just because of the because of the range defense resistance, this can help against range enemies. And if you can get more like roll advantage, um, I think maybe you know maybe like a defense, something defense-wise with the side skill can help out. But this this one right here, the range defense resistance, that could be that could be somewhat helpful. Uh, Valletta, Valletta new. She's a this is another unit that you probably that you could probably use. Um, now she does come with the collab, so the collab, the Code Geass collab. So I, I mean, if you have her, you know, you could you could use her with Lin Zen, and she can provide you know a little bit of help for that with the damage taken reduction and also the barrier equals you know to the four four point five percent. If you get more levels of her, that's awesome too. But if you don't have her, then um, I'm just, like we've been getting a lot of you know, collab reruns, so maybe next time when we do get another collab rerun of Code Geass, you could probably pick her up for this, and let's see, now Monet, Monet's, uh, Mona, Mona is an interesting unit too, where she nullifies the permanent buffs, but what you really want, I mean, what you could focus on is, you know, the defense, I mean, that, I guess that could do some, like, some pretty good things on here and if you have a nice defense wise for AOE damage reduction um, this could help keep Lin Zen alive Sigma is another unit that you could use with the non cancelable barriers <clears throat> now Kim Hana you can't really go wrong with Kim Hana she Kim Hana fits well with just about anything with like PvE and PvP, especially if you're restoring the cost, which is a pretty crucial thing because you can use Lin Zen with that and that can give you a nice set of costs, which gives you more cost efficiency and cost management. And also too, now most now you probably didn't know this here, but the mass market automaton also can grant you about 10. Um, about 10.25 as a level 8 this is for about 8 seconds so now if you can get a you know a defense wise um, defense wise side skill there that could potentially give you a you know a nice advantage when Lin Zen's on the field and trying to keep her alive now you have your ships you have your operators and you have the gear sets that you could use with her now what are the units that normally would synergize well with Lin Zen? well the units that would normally fit well with her would be a supporter support units that can grant skill haste and it's very important for that because you want to try and have Lin Zen uh, launch her ultimate her ultimate attack as much as she as much as she can and Shinja can do this 
where her skill, her you know, she can give skill haste to um, to the allies, which is pretty good. You can use you can use units like um, let's see, was it not? You can you, you can use Nanahara Chinatsu. Nanahara Chinatsu is good because she can keep the unit alive, and this is something that you would want to use. This, this is something that you would definitely would want to use um, if you if you can, if, you know. If you can uh, spare the space of it, she can keep the unit alive. She can keep Lin Zen alive a lot longer. Uh, Lelouch Lambrouge, he's definitely he's definitely a unit that you could use because he can he can grant the skill haste. Uh, where is it? Uh, oh, right here. Yeah, and he grants uh, a 25% to nearby allies within the range for 5 seconds, excluding himself. Um, now, he does also, he also, uh, while the buff is still active, he gains a barrier equal to the 10% of the HP, but this is good too, keeping her on the field, and then you can use Lelouch to give that skill haste, and especially if you have another unit that also increases the skill haste of allies with Lelouch on the field, this can help Lelouch get, you know, get his skill off more often and thus both of those skills will then start helping out Lin Zen. Now I think I think that there might there might be a you know a hard cap on how much skill haste that you can put on a unit, but I'm not sure about that yet. So I mean if anybody knows, you know feel free to write it in the comments. <clears throat> So you so you can use Awakened Shinja, you can use Lelouch in terms of skill increasing the skill haste. You could definitely use Yang Harim. Yang Harim is is a nice go-to unit to use, which she can definitely help out teams, especially Lin Zen, in getting their skill using their special skills and their ultimates. Another unit that you can use too is Lulu. Lulu can definitely help you out as well in terms of you know giving you a nice a nice defensive buff, but also she can give skill haste. And I believe that is where is it? Um, defensive for enemies, sleep immunity. Is it the ultimate or sleeping allies enhances the defense? Cast a buff that's double the defense value. Interesting. So she increases the defense. Okay. Okay, never mind. So I, uh, okay, so um, Lulu, Lulu only increases the defense, which is still a good thing here. She doesn't increase the skill haste, but the the defense is good. Yeah, this is, that's still that's still a pretty good thing, where um, she definitely can increase the defense of the you know of your units that's uh, on the field with her. And that's a pretty good thing, you know. It's always nice to have a nice um, 15%. This is this old, she, she could definitely help keep the unit alive a lot longer. Um, now, in terms of the defense, we can use we can use uh, McCready, uh, you know, in giving more barriers when she activates her own ice barriers. That's another good thing. You could use, uh, you know, Claudia. That's also a good thing. Where she can heal the she can heal the allies and uh, Evelyn's another one here and also Aries 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 is is pretty good as well especially when giving out barriers and being some to the field which then also you know heals the unit this is also a good thing in keeping Lin Zen alive um, in defenses you could you you could use the you could use you know Casey Benz. You can use Alex to, to defend her, and you can use Hilda, which gives the team 
you know uh, barriers especially if you have the reactor here that's also a good thing to have and um yeah uh luna luna is another good one too where you know she could buy you some time and you know um carlotta carlotta is another one where you know she could give them some nice uh damage reduction from there when she's uh placed onto the field she'll place you know she'll place her banner down and you know um it increase the you know the damage reduction of our allies within range um there's many uh, more other units out there that uh you know that could definitely fit well with her but Lin Zen overall fits with just about almost any team you can't really go wrong with a deployment cost unless you you know unless you're facing like a a, a raid boss or something that you know that immediately kills her and stuff like that but aside from that um yeah that's uh Lin Zen for you and um yeah she's she's definitely she's definitely a unit that you one of she's definitely one of the good units that you probably should level up and it's nice to have her it's nice to have her uh, as a backup just in case if you really need to get things going in you know in pvp uh missions you know things get challenging or even in pvp if you really have a set of units that you want to get out very fast she's definitely the girl for you to use in terms of you know in terms of having the deployment cost management but uh yeah if you found this case studies to be useful um and you like the video feel free to leave a like and if you didn't like the video feel free to leave a dislike till next time catch you guys later